Hi, my name's Stefan, and I'd just like to spend a few moments describing this grass and hopefully help you come to a place where you can make a good decision on which grass is right for you. So what we're sitting on here today is a variety of buffalo called King's Pride. And this is a soft leaf buffalo, so it's much softer than older varieties of buffalo. And buffalo grass by nature is a very low invasive grass, like it doesn't spread very quickly, doesn't grow very fast. So it's what you consider a very low maintenance variety of grass. It's a very wide blade. In fact, it's the widest blade of all turfs that you can buy in Adelaide, which means it's wider than Kaikuyu and it's wider than Cooch, giving that real meadowy sort of look. Um, it's a very versatile grass, and what I mean by that is it'll grow in both sun and shade, which is very good considering that most other turfs won't do that. So if you've got a situation where you have some shade, then King's Pride is a great variety to consider. Now, what makes King's Pride different from other softleaf buffaloes? It's a very new variety of softleaf buffalo, only released a couple of years ago. Um, it's been bred for greater shade tolerance, and it's been bred for greater ability to recover from wear. So, two key things or two key reasons to consider King's Pride. Now three things that you should ask yourself when picking a lawn and that is where do you want it to grow, what do you want to do with it and what do you want it to look like. So considering that soft leaf buffalo or King's Pride will grow in both sun and shade, it's very versatile which means that you can put it in either sun or shade or a combination of both. Secondly, it's the sort of grass that you'd, that you'd put down if you weren't going to have too much traffic on it. Um, you wouldn't put it down if you had more than one dog, for instance. Um, you wouldn't want to have a lot of traffic on it, but it's very low maintenance. That's the key thing that stands out about these grasses. Um, and the third thing is, it's, um, it's that low, kind of spongy, meadowy look, which is, if that's what you're looking for in your grass, um, with that wider blade, then King's Pride is a grass that's well worth considering. Mm -hmm.